Hey guys, today I want to show you from the Word of God how to live with no poverty and no lack in your life for the rest of your life. Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. Thanks so much for watching this again today. I really appreciate that. Listen, if you like this channel and enjoy my videos, I want you to subscribe. I have new videos coming out for you guys every single Tuesday. So today I wanna show you from the Word of God how to live with no poverty and no lack in your life for the rest of your life. You know, David said in Psalm 23 and verse one, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And one translation translation of that verse says this, I will not lack. And David is saying here, because God is his shepherd and he follows his lead, that he always makes him lie down in green pastures and he always leads him beside still waters. Here's the problem. Many people that are Christians are not allowing God to truly be their shepherd. What I mean by that is they're not following his lead. And when we look at the way God leads his children, you'll find that there are two main ways that God leads us into a place where there's no poverty and there's no lack. In fact, we see that the Bible says in Acts chapter 20 and verse 32, that it is the word of grace that allows us to step into our inheritance in Christ. And so by obeying and following the leading of God's word, we will always be led into a place of our inheritance. Our inheritance is everything everything that God's provided for us. It's health for our physical body. In fact, Proverbs chapter 4 verses 20 through 22 tells us that when we follow the instruction of the word, it becomes health and strength to our body. It's peace to our mind. It's joy to our soul. It's blessing for us even financially. It's no surprise to me that the majority of Christians in America that struggle with lack, poverty, and not having enough also refuse to tithe. That's a statistical truth. People refuse to tithe and to give offerings unto God and they wonder why they're struggling financially. You have to allow God to be your shepherd and guide you by his word. Secondly, the Bible says that God guides us and leads us by his spirit. The Bible says, as many as are the sons of God, they are led by the spirit of God. In fact, the same man, David, who wrote Psalm 23, in 1 Samuel 30, he's asking the Lord or praying to God and asking him about a situation he was dealing with. People had come and taken his things, taken his family, and he prayed to the Lord and said, God, should I pursue after them? Should I recover all that was taken from me? Isn't it interesting to see that even though it was his family, it was his possessions that were stolen, he didn't immediately go to take them back. He prayed first and asked the Lord, should I pursue? The second reason that we can be led into a place of no lack and no poverty is because through prayer and the leading of God's Holy Spirit, we can make the proper decisions that like David, will take us into victory, recovery, and overflow. It's no surprise to me that people are struggling because they won't pray and ask God what they should do with their life. They don't pray and ask God, what job should I take? They just take any job. They don't ask God, which person should I marry? They won't even ask God, what should I major in in college? Many people are just making random decisions as to what seems best in their life. And as a result, they're struggling because God never led them to do those things. Today, I want to encourage you that before you make any decisions or go any further with your life, that every decision you make should be made through the wisdom of God's word, number one, and the wisdom of his spirit leading you through prayer, number two. When you have those two things working for you in your life, there's no question about it that you will always be walking in the obedience of God's word and his spirit, meaning that you'll be walking in the blessing of God. And when you're walking in God's blessing, the Bible says it makes rich and adds no sorrow unto it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching again today. And listen, I would love to hear any comments you have, or if you have any questions about this, please post them in the section below and I'll be happy to do my best to answer them. Remember until next week, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week.